Hello you guys, welcome back to the It's Your World podcast. I am your host, Julia, and if you're watching on um, YouTube, hello. I am currently sitting in my backyard. My dog is sitting like kind of in front of me and she's like giving me the side eye right now. She looks so cute. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about a topic that I have done another episode on almost a year ago now. So we're going to kind of talk about your life's purpose, how to know what it is, how to fulfill it, and all that good stuff. So I remember I did an episode on this last year, around the same time, probably like September, but I just felt called and inspired right now to do this topic, and I saw a TikTok not too long ago, like a few hours ago, and the girl was saying like, when you have an idea, the universe is speaking to you. The universe is saying like, hey, like, let me put this thought into your head so you get this idea, so you do this right now because it's gonna work. So, moral of the story, when you get those silly little ideas, they're not so silly and they're not so little. It's actually the universe being like, you need to do this right now because it's going to work. For example, she gave an example and she said that one time Michael Jackson had an idea for a song and he was like we need to record this right now like I just got this idea and his producer whoever was like no like let's just do it in the morning it's super late like let's get some sleep we'll do it in the morning and Michael Jackson was like no if we wait if we wait Prince is going to record the song tonight and release it or something like that so moral of the story when you get an idea it's meant for that moment you can't sit on it You can't just let them stay there. You need to act on them. So, this brings us straight into our topic for today. Your life's purpose. How do you know what it is? And how do you fulfill it? So, ever since you were little, growing up, you've always had interests. You've always had talents. And you've always had things that you succeeded at, that you were good at. Now, the things that you were interested in when you were little may look a little different now, but the moral of the story is they all stem from the same thing. Now, not everyone is meant to be a singer. Not everyone is meant to be a doctor. That's not your life's purpose. Your life's purpose is bigger than that. And I don't know if you guys have watched or are familiar with the movie Soul, but that movie speaks about this topic really well. And essentially, your purpose in this lifetime is to live in the now. Because when you're living in the now, you're doing all you're supposed to be doing. You don't have to be something. You just have to be here now. And the movie Soul definitely touches upon this. And because not everyone has a talent. And so that leaves a lot of us feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't have a purpose. But you do have a purpose. And if you are existing, you are fulfilling that purpose. Now, when you're existing in the present moment, this lets your creativity flow. And this will get your mind thinking, and it will allow you to be doing something useful with your time. Now, if you're constantly worrying and thinking about the future, you're not going to be living in the now, so you're not going to be in touch with that higher, true self. And if you're not in touch with your true self, you're going to miss out on what exactly it is that you're meant to be doing in this lifetime. For example, I find I don't specifically have any, like, I'm not athletic, I'm not musically inclined, like, I don't have any talents like that. So my life purpose isn't going to be destined along one of those paths. Personally, for me, I've always felt like my life's purpose has something to do with teaching people, educating them, helping them. And you know how I get in tune with that? I was sitting here today, for example, in the chair, in the present moment, and I got inspired to make some TikToks. And then I was like, hey, you know what? The ideas are flowing. And even, for example, right now, like I'm sitting here talking to you guys and the ideas are flowing. I don't even know what I'm going to say next. I'm just hoping that something comes to my mind. And let me tell you, when you get in touch and you get in the moment, It just flows. And that's how it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to think about it. 
it's just whatever feels right and whatever makes you feel like you are in touch with your highest self and that's a massive B. Wow. That's wasp. You guys can't see it if you're watching because it's down there, but... See, now I lost my train of thought. But we have to regain it here for a second while I watch this bee. Actually, no, this bee just gave me my next idea. This bee right now, you want to know what his purpose is? To find food. So right now he's crawling along my water bottle because that's all he knows. That's its life pur- or maybe it's a girl. That's its life purpose. It's existing right now, looking for food to either feed its babies or- and now it lands it on the flower. I feel like this is all over the place right now. That always happens. Like, I just start talking and then I'm like, oh, I hope that made sense. Okay, how do you discover your life purpose? We'll go to that topic next. What you're gonna do, if you don't already know what it is, because some of us know what it is, or some of us think we know what it is, but maybe we get redirected. And if you get redirected, don't freak out. Because a lot of people tend to feel like if something goes wrong in their life, they freak out and think the universe is against them. First of all, the universe is always on your side. You want to know why? Because you are the universe. You are creation experiencing itself in the physical form. You are everything that ever has been and everything that ever will be. Is you. We're all connected. We're all the same. The only thing that makes us different is the outside reality. But reality is just a perception of what's on the inside of you. Anyways, you're going to exist in the present moment. Maybe you take a few minutes out of your day and you're just gonna be here and just sit quiet, maybe do a little meditation if that helps you. Personally, I have to be outside. I don't ever feel inspired inside unless I'm like, <laughs> sorry, the bee came near me, unless I'm like, looking at something that inspires me like I feel like I can't be in the moment if I'm inside why do you think that is is because nature is us we are creation you need to be in creation to okay this bee is getting really close to me um so get outside in the sun like I just said personally that helps me the most I think it's going to make a big difference in your process of figuring this out as well you're going to sit quiet exist and once your ideas start flowing to you I bet you too you're gonna start reflecting on your life and you're gonna be like wow this really worked for me why don't I do that more often self-sabotaging we all do it we're all guilty of it and it's just simply because when you're doing good you always tend to retreat back and it's because we're like it's almost like we're scared of moving forward because we know it's going to work and we know we're going to be so successful, but it's the fear of the unknown because we're so comfortable and we're so used to being in our safe space and being comfortable, but you know, you have to be uncomfortable if you want to be successful. You have to get uncomfortable if you're going to chase after your life's purpose. And so I think that's the number one lesson and thing that we need to all do is we need to be in the moment more because if you're not existing in the present moment, you're never going to be fulfilling your purpose because you can't do it in the past and you can't do it in the future. Those don't exist. It has to be right now. This moment. And so you're going to reflect and you're going to figure it out. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, my purpose is to give back to others. And so you know what you're going to do? You're going to start giving back every single day. Maybe you give someone a compliment. That's giving back. You don't have to give someone a million dollars for it to be considered giving back. Maybe your purpose is to be someone's reason that they smile. You walk down the street, you give someone a compliment. You know what? That made that person's day. That made a difference in their day. That means you're doing something right. I have confidence in all of you that if you haven't already, you are going to discover your purpose. And the whole purpose, the whole reason behind this, is it's going to fulfill you. 
Because you don't need money, you don't need cars, you don't need riches to fulfill your life and make you happy. The truth is the only thing that is ever going to fulfill you is if you are living out your purpose. And that could be by doing the simplest thing, you just have to figure out what it is. So, let's take a vow. We're going to live in the present moment. We're going to embrace ourselves. We're going to connect to our higher selves. And think about what the world would look like if each person was embracing their highest self. Think about that for a second. It's kind of hard to comprehend because the only reason that things happen in the world is because people aren't in touch with themselves. And if you're not in touch with themselves, that leaves all this other room for all this drama to come in and all this hate and all these things that aren't true to our beings. Because no one is born like that. It's just, it's society and it's the way that life goes. People, like, those things happen. But if you retreat back and if you go inside, you find yourself and the world becomes a better place. So I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope it was helpful and yeah, the number one thing, I want you guys to start living in the moment more. I myself also really need to do this and I am going to start doing this. I was doing it this morning and I'm going to go do it right now also again after I end this episode. But also make sure you guys, if you haven't already, check out my TikTok because I am trying to get back in touch with posting TikToks that was kind of my original content that I was doing there. I was super lost for a while. I didn't know what kind of content to post. I wasn't inspired. I didn't have any ideas and I just wasn't loving it. So I was like, I do not know what to post. Like, nothing is getting views. Why is this not working? But you know why? Because I was thinking about it too much. Today, for example, I was sitting here and the ideas were flowing to me. And you know, it doesn't matter how many views it gets. And I'm saying this out loud right now to remind myself that. It doesn't matter because as long as it reaches one person, it makes a difference. Because if it sticks with one person, that one person is going to spread it on to another person. And then they're going to share it and they're going to share it. And eventually, everyone will end up getting the message that I was trying to go across. So, I hope you guys love this episode. Be sure to check me out at I am Julia Hawkins on TikTok and Instagram. And if you're listening but not watching, this is also available on YouTube to watch. You can see me right here. I'm just chilling in my backyard. But yes, thank you guys so much. I love and appreciate you all. And I hope you have an amazing day, rest of your day, start of your day, wherever you may be. And I will see you guys next week for a new episode.